That it means a little more to me Dedicating time when I really can't afford to be I'll provide protection if you open up the door for me Couple stares, couple texts, couple dates Couple I think that we're ready Couple I think we should wait Are we acting like a couple? I'm just trying to get it straight Cause I'm over here convinced that it's too early for mistakes And then... Go. I followed the rules and told you everything you had to know Had you over every night, every night was passionate Plus you met my mother even if it was an accident I'm confused, tell me where we go wrong I was sure that I would be with you for so long I was planning on this being something worth mentioning Energy invested in someone I saw potential in Who kills shivery, they need to get their sentence in Meanwhile we arguing and I can't get a sentence in just as I predicted, here we go again. They always say the hottest love has the coldest end. Ooh, you had to change up the game. It's not that I don't want just moved my exam back um, because I work full-time so I'm kind of given a different perspective of working full-time and also studying I don't just have like three dedicated months full-time I can give to the MCAT because I have bills to pay you know so yes I'm officially studying for the MCAT exam um, while working with my work schedule and I just took a practice test because last weekend I recorded a little bit of footage I'll add in here so you all can see but I took a practice exam um, last weekend and I scored four points higher than the previous exam so your girls increasing your girls going up I'm so excited about that like I'm just so happy that I'm seeing like improvement I see where my content gaps need to be filled and things like that so I'm super excited I was um, gifted through our MCAT program, the free Kaplan resources. So I've been using Kaplan. I know people say it's a little deflated with your score, but I think Kaplan is really good because you can see which content areas that you're lacking and where you need to improve on. Um, so I've been studying for the MCAT, so I'm gonna probably get a little work done today as well. Um, and then 
I just cooked breakfast and made breakfast. Breakfast was delicious. Here's the picture. I made French toast. Um, I had some strawberries, some eggs, and then some turkey sausage. I'm um, really trying to just watch how much fat, fatty food and a lot of the sugar and stuff I've been eating. So it's really been helping with just like having substitutes, like still having all the things that I love to eat and just substituting and you know being a little bit more frugal with the things I'm consuming um that's not the right word just being more mindful about the things I'm consuming and how much sugar and things like that but anyways I'm super excited because I'm vlogging this weekend also because I am going and shadowing um, I have a couple shadow days coming up today Saturday is one of the days I'm shadowing at 7 p.m. Um, it's a 7 to 7 shift for the doctor that I'm shadowing in the emergency room however I think they recommend that I only stay for five of those hours like five hours out of the shift so I will be leaving probably around like 12 midnight which honestly is pretty good for me um so i'm excited about that today's my first day shadowing and this doctor so i'm so excited i'm so happy i think i want to make a video about like how to get shadowing opportunities how to reach out to doctors what type of templates to use so if that's something that you guys are interested in please let me know down below because i definitely will help you all out and the doctor that i'm shadowing she said make sure you wear shoes you don't care about so i'm like omg <laughs> But I'm super excited. I like am over the moon right now. I'm so excited to vlog. This is like a new, I'm like opening up a new, I'm starting literally a new book on this YouTube. But like, you guys see me in high school, you saw me in college, like you've seen me a little bit post grad. And now that you're really seeing me like get to shadowing, you're seeing me study for the MCAT. It's just all super, super exciting. I'm super blessed. Like, I appreciate my life so much like i love my life like even the bad days even the bad moments that i've went through like life is just so beautiful especially to me and i know in moments when i look back and i'm like this felt like he double hockey sticks like i also am able to reflect like this happened because of this or this happened so you can get this or this happened to potentially save your life and i'm just so blessed to be able to recognize that um and know that every day is not a good day but i strongly believe everything happens for a reason i strongly believe that all the days that are not good are for a reason you don't just have a bad day to have a bad day like it's a reason so rather that's saying hey i need to get it together i never want to have a bad day again or rather it's just leading you into a new direction into a new mind into a new spirit and things like that but anywho, I was talking for quite a bit. Welcome to the vlog. If you're new to my page, hi, I'm Savannah. I am a first generation college graduate. Vlog, so hello 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 Ooh, today's presentation day happy happy thursday oh no friday friday um i have to shadow later tonight so i feel really good about that um and yeah it's really really i'm just uh, like this life i live i'm so grateful for it i'm so grateful for my friends and family for support like i just feel so whole today like um this is the outfit i wore this shirt when i went to phoenix but i absolutely love it i thrifted this skirt with some black heels and this is the fit y'all this is the fit this morning for the conference i've never worn a skirt so this is my first time i like that it's long though um because it's more professional and i think it matches together really really good so this is the outfit i did a little bit of practice a little run through i probably will do a little bit more in the car but y'all this is me this is the outfit the open cd the scent of the day is this look home i got it from my friend tay she gifted it to me for my birthday so 
I am blessed for her. And yeah, so this is the fit. We love the creaking floor. But yeah, so I'm all dressed. I'm ready to go. I'm about to put tic tac in, drink some water. I look good. I'm probably gonna spray myself one more time before I leave. But my elbows ain't ashy and I look amazing. So I'm so happy and excited um, to be doing this presentation. Um, ah, and I'm excited to shadow later today. So I'm just feeling so blessed overall. And I'm just excited that I get to share my research and share what I've been working on um, because this part of my life is coming to an end. Working at Xavier, working with David. So I am working at Xavier. I am so excited for this chapter to close and I'm so ready for the next one to open. Like, I'm just at all. I'm so excited. I'm so blessed. Oh my gosh. So, yeah, let's get ready. Fit again. I don't know. I just look so good. When I put my dress clothes on, I just love wearing dress clothes. This is my first time ever wearing a skirt, dress skirt. I never had a dress skirt. So I feel really, really cute um, today. So I'm gonna tuck the shirt in a little bit to give it a little bit of that, you know, that look, that look. So I'm excited about my outfit because I could not find any good dress pants, but I have two good dress skirts. So I'm excited about that. Happy Saturday. I am about to study and get some work done. I want to edit this video and get it up hopefully next week. Um, so it may be up probably at the start of the next month, which is May. So I want to post twice a month. So I am so excited. It's Saturday. I'm about to get some work done. I'm doing cars today because cars have been literally my hardest topic thus far. So we have all of our little things. We have our study timer. We have a decaf, decaf, decaf. My little cars document I have, y'all. I'm trying my hardest to figure cars out. I will figure cars out. One of my friends is taking the exam today, so I'm so excited for him. I have three friends so far that have taken their exams. One has gotten their exam back. He's not necessarily a friend, but he's like an associate through a group I was in. He got a vote of a 500, so shout out to him. And then I had another friend, she took it on April 17th, I believe. So she gets her back next month. And then I had a friend who took it today. So he's probably at that halfway mark by now, because it's 1233. Um, so I'm just telepathically sending him positive energy and good vibes, thinking about him. Um, because he's worked very, very hard. And I know the score he has in mind, the things he want to do. So I'm so happy and I'm so proud of him. So yeah, I'm about to literally get some work in. I got up this morning, I cooked breakfast, I'm gonna hang out with a girlfriend today. Like, I'm just taking it one day at a time. We have a lovely decaf because I told myself I was gonna do like two and a half hours today, which is perfect because I'm at my hours already for the day, for the week. Like I've studied for all the lot of time I've set a goal out for myself and I've accomplished that already. But I want to get a little review done. I want to do a little bit more cars. And then I'm going through the what's on the MCAT outline document. Something probably I should have probably bended. But I'm going through 10 to 15 pages of this every single day. Or every study day. Because Sunday is my days off. The only thing I'm going to do on Sunday is on key. Oh, actually, tomorrow I signed up for a cars workshop. So that's hours. So I'm going to do that plus on key. So that'd be like an hour and a half of studying tomorrow, hour and 45, um, which is fine because, yeah, but I really like to have Sundays to myself. I need it, like you need a day to yourself. So let's get some work done. I'm feeling optimistic. I'm gonna get my hour, two hours and a half done today, clean up a little bit and get ready for my friend. Life is about balance. I know the MK is hard, it's sturdy, but if you, you also need to take time for yourself. You don't wanna burn yourself out because that can just hurt you in the long run. Like lack of sleep and getting no sleep think that you're being productive it's really counterproductive so we have two and a half hours i know it's gonna fly by and then we're gonna clean up we're gonna get the house ready i'm gonna see my friend that i haven't seen in a while it's been like a little over a month so i'm so excited i guess i'll time lapse <laughs>